So here we have another question for an object going up or down a ramp. Uh, so physics 12 question, James M. Hill. We call this a type 3 force problem. So type 2 going up and it would be a hanging a sign. Type 1 pushing and pulling an object at an angle. Uh, so here there's no diagram, which means you have to do the diagram yourself, and that's going to be really key to the solving the whole problem. Problem reads, what applied force is necessary for a person to pull a 30 kilogram object up a ramp at a constant velocity? Ramp makes an angle of 25 degrees to the ground. Coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.12. The first thing I'm going to do is just sketch my ramp. Nothing extravagant, just a little ramp in there. 25 degrees. And there's my object. Once you kind of sketch that out, draw your forces if you want. We've got the force of gravity going down, and that's going to be my x direction. And I've got my applied force going up. And there's also a force of friction in here. And we're pulling up. Friction is going to act opposite that of motion. So that's my force of friction. So my force of friction and my force of gravity are in the same direction to this problem. Uh, we have normal force. And then force of gravity always acts straight down. And then perpendicular to that, we've got our force of gravity in the y direction. Okay, a little messy, but uh, if you follow along, it shouldn't be too bad. I'll now we want to find our applied force upwards here. So net force in the x direction equals the sum of all forces in that direction. Now just to be clear, I'm going to label my axes. There's my y, there's my x. So up the ramp is negative, so my applied force is going to work out to be a negative number. Down the ramp is going to be positive. So in this question, force of friction is going to be positive, and gravity is going to be positive. If you switch the signs around, say up the ramp is positive, then your force of friction and force of gravity will both be negative. It doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent and careful. Okay. Uh, so let's play out the net force again. F net x equals, we've got an applied force in the x direction, we have the force of friction, and we have the force of gravity in the x direction. Net force is zero. That one's an easy one to start off with. And it's easy if you remember that anything moving at a constant velocity has a zero net force on it. Force applied, we're trying to figure out. Force of friction, we can calculate by doing coefficient of friction times the normal force. The normal force can be calculated by finding out force of gravity in the y direction. Force of gravity in the x, that can be calculated by doing force of gravity uh, sine of the angle. And just kind of down here, force of gravity in the y direction would be force of gravity magnitude cosine of the angle. So there's kind of a little, I guess, map of what we have to do to figure out uh, force applied. We need to fill in a value for net force, force of friction, and force of gravity in the x. Force of gravity in the x is one calculation magnitude sine of the angle. Force of friction, a little more involved, obviously. It's the coefficient times the normal force. The normal force is equal and opposite to gravity, so we've got to figure out the force of gravity in the y direction, and that's going to be the magnitude of gravity times cosine, and the net force is zero. So we'll start with the more easy ones. Force of gravity in the x is the magnitude of the force of gravity of this thing, and uh, magnitude is going to be mass times 9.81, mass is 30, 9.81, and then sine of the angle of 25. So putting that in the old calculator, 30 times 9.81 times sine 25, make sure you're in degrees. Force of gravity in the x direction is going to be 124 newtons. Now according to our direction, down the ramp is positive. I'm just going to leave that as positive right there. Now we need force of friction. That's going to be u times the normal force. The normal force is equal and opposite to the force of gravity in the y direction. So that's going to be calculated by doing magnitude of the force of gravity, mass times 9.81 times cosine of 25. 
So 30 times 9.81 times cosine 25 is 267. And that's Newton's. So that's, remember, that's our normal force. Right. And continuing to finish calculate the force of friction will then be the coefficient. I've got to scroll up here to see what the coefficient is. 0 0.12 times that by our 267. That gives us our magnitude of our force of friction, which is 32 newtons. I'm going to leave that as positive because that is also down the ramp, and I said down the ramp is the positive direction. Okay, so now we're ready to finish the problem though. I'll write my equation down again. That force is applied force plus the force of friction plus the force of gravity in the x direction. So zero equals FA uh, plus 32 plus FGX growing up to remind myself what that is 124. So careful with your math, your applied force should be negative 156. You can leave your answer like that. The negative tells me it's up the ramp, which is exactly what we want in the question.